Hi, welcome to another video on the tan graph basic equation. Y equals tan theta. I want to graph uh, tan theta, but what I'm going to do is fill out this chart here first. And we have a unit circle. And on the unit circle, we have this point is one zero zero one negative one zero zero negative one and in relation to negative 90 is here sine is the y which is negative one and cos is the x which is zero i'll do tan after and we got 45, negative 45. The tan of negative 45 is negative one. It's right here, because on a 45 right triangle. The cos of negative 45 is one and zero degrees here. Sine is zero. Cos is the x, which is one. And on 45, 45, 45 right triangle, sine is one. Cos is 1, and on the 90, 90 is positive right here. Uh, sine is the y, which is 1. Cos is 0, which is the x. Now, tan is the sine divided by the cosine. So, sine divided by cosine, division by 0, that makes tan undefined. And negative 1 divided by 1 is negative 1. 0 divided by 1 is 0. And 1 divided by 1 is 1. And 1 divided by 0, division by 0 is undefined. So what, let's look at the chart. As a result, we have at negative 90, tan is undefined so that means that it's a vertical asymptote through here so the vertical asymptote is there and also we have an undefined at oh this at 90 is undefined at negative 90 also I did the wrong one first negative 90 negative 90 is undefined 90 is undefined so at negative 45 we have negative 1 so negative 1 is right here that's negative two this is negative one at zero tan is zero and at 45 we have a one which is right here so because we have a vertical asymptote the tan graph as it goes towards the asymptote it will go like this up and up and up and it comes down hits the zero and goes down, go along by the verses. So there's the tan graph from negative 90 to 90. Notice the vertical asymptotes are at when cos theta equals zero. And cos theta is equal to zero. Cos is zero at the negative 90 and the 90. And notice the period, this is one cycle here, the period from negative 90 to a 90, the period is 180 degrees or we're going to do it in radians in terms of pi. But let's look at what about as we approach uh, the tan from 70, 80, 85, 90, as we get closer here, what happens? When we do the tan on the calculator, the tan of 70 is 2.7. The tan of 80 is 5.7. The tan of 85 is 11.4. The tan of 89 is 57.3 if you use your calculator. So that means as, as you move closer and closer to the 90, the y value is getting higher and higher and higher. And the closer you get to 90, that's why it's going to infinity, going on up and up and up. You can never get to 90 on a tan graph, so that's a vertical asymptote. And as you approach it this way, from negative 70, negative 80, negative 85, negative 89, you get the negative of these numbers. Use your calculator and check it out. And what happens is that in tan, 
sine is the y, so the y as you get closer, the y value gets larger and larger, and the cos value gets smaller and smaller, so you get going to uh, an asymptote. Okay, that's part of the graph, and I want to show you that on the calculator. Let me see if we can call up the calculator, turn it on, and we'll put, look at the, uh, make sure I got the right information in. Let's go from a negative 100 to a 100. Negative 100 to a 100. So this is the degrees and everything else, but I'm just fitting the window to be okay. And we have to do the tan of, just do tan of the X and let's see what happens. So my graph is very, very similar here. This is the vertical asymptote at 90. This is the vertical asymptote at negative 90. And you can see it, that there's the zero right here. And I got, right here I only got from zero to two. Right here I got from zero to 10. So it's just, graph is just a different, same shape, but the, the numbers I'm using on the graph are different than the numbers I'm using here. Okay. So what happens, let's go further. We said the period was 180 for tan. Remember the period, if you can recall, the period for cos and sine is 360 degrees. So what about if we go from a negative 360 to 360? Well, just then we found that tan at is undefined. Remember tan, tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. So tan theta is undefined. We have to keep this straight. Tan theta is undefined when cos theta equals zero. And that's at 90 and a negative 90. Remember the period is 180. So we go at 180, we get 270. And if we add a hundred, take away 180 from here, we get a negative 270. So what happens? We go, it starts here, comes down, goes into the zero, goes down. So it's doing this. So that's one. Now when you're in here, it's doing exactly the same thing, it's identical. Because it's continuing over here, it comes down, goes through the negative 180, and it continues on and on and on. And there's more, but let me look at, show you that in relation to uh, setting up this equation. I'm going from a negative 360 to 360. Let's see what happens. And we have the same equation. Let's just check. We're doing the tan. So we do the graph and let's see what happens. We should get this. Here it is. And there's just more out here. So as you go this way, if you go uh, more here, if you went with this, there's 180 here, then you get that's uh, 270, 360. So it come, we go over one more right here. It comes down like this into the three. Okay, so you can see it's the period of tan is 360. The period of tan, sorry, the period of sine and cos is 360. The period of tan is 180. So at 270, it's it's undefined. At 90, it's undefined. Sorry, at negative 90, it's undefined. At 90, it's undefined. Every 180, it's undefined. 270, it's undefined. I'm just writing UND. And at negative 180, it's a zero. At zero degrees, it's a zero. 
at 180 degrees is zero. So the vertical asymptotes here are at negative 270, at negative 90, 90, 270, and if you add on, again, add 180 there, you get 450. Set to the one, and you keep on going on and on and on. So one way to define that is that you got a vertical asymptote at 90, so you could add on 180 n, where n belongs to the integers. So you got a vertical asymptote at 80, at, sorry 90, adding 180 degrees on left and right, adding it on and subtracting. So when n is zero, put a zero here, you get 90. When n is one, you get 270. When n is two, you get uh, 450. And you put n is negative one, you get negative 180 and 90 is negative 90 so or you could have it in radiance pi over 2 plus n pi where n belongs to the integers 90 degrees is pi over 2 180 is pi so we need to learn this shape for tan so tan if you remember tan is sine over cos Tan is undefined when the denominator, the denominator is zero. Tan is zero. Tan is zero when sine is zero. Sine theta is zero. And you have to memorize. So remember, tan is starting at negative 90 and zero, 90, and it's a uh, negative 90 is going in. Negative 90 going in 45, so I got I should have a 45 here, and we put a zero. I went I went with the multiples of 90, so that's negative 90, negative 45, zero, 45, 90. So we at negative 90, tan is undefined. Negative 45 is negative one. Tan of zero is zero. Tan of 45 is one. Tan of 90 is undefined. Let's spell that out so you make sure. So you have to memorize that tan is negative 90 to a 90 with 4 in. So you go from negative 90 to a 90. There's your tan looping like this. There's your tan graph. So it's uh, four pieces. One, two, three, four. So there's your one. There's your zero. And there's your negative one right there so that's your tan graph and the period for tan is 180 degrees so when you do that it's if you got a 90 you got a 45 you got a zero negative 45 negative 90 so at 90 is undefined because cos is zero at negative 90 is undefined because cos is 0. The tan of 45 is 1. The tan of 0 is 0. The tan of negative 45 is negative 1. So the tan graph comes down like this. There's your tan graph. Learn this. Memorize it. Again, negative 90 to a 90. And the, you can see, hopefully, hopefully that helps you understand how the tan graph is derived. And if you like my video, click on the like button, click on the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that's on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video was of some help to you. Bye-bye.